I'm dangerous. On the edge. Wanted. A proper crim now. Can I go down for attempted murder or grievous bodily harm or something? Can they die? Oh, shit. Fuck! Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swear. It's just I'm not usually like this. Aggressive, weird, sweary. This is not who I am. I'm just Femi Berra Ayudeli from Permanency. I did it for him. We met at a well random bingo, right? Best night out ever. We've been like mama and cheese since then. Uh, like, Homer sent those little carrot sticks? No, seriously, we're like chips and ketchup. Hashtag relationship goals. Then one day, it just got intense. Next level. You know when it's all romantic and you're eating out of the same chicken bucket? He gives me a serviette to wipe the garlic mayo that's running down my chin, and I'm like... Thanks. <laughs> it, it was magical. And I want a hashtag, my boyfriend is better than your boyfriend. But I couldn't get to my phone. Had my hands full with a spicy whip. That's another memory, just dead. So right there, he gives me this. Then he says to me that he went to see a psychic once and she told him that he would marry a woman from Africa. And now I'm thinking that's me. I can be that African. I can be that African. So I invite his parents round for dinner. That's what I'm meant to do, right? Big up my Nigerian roots, he says. So one minute past one o'clock and I'm running to catch the 56 bus to the market. Properly shopping for African food ingredients. Yeah, I'm African. Mixed with a lot of Scottish. I'm getting nervous now. I never cook. I can't cook. I'm not even sure how to make the oven work. I'm rushing and sweating and I need to get dressed. But what's there to be nervous about? His mum comes in wearing an earth mother and her hair in cane rows. I knew I should have wore the head wrap. His dad greets me in five different languages. Calls me Habibti and everything. And I don't even know what he is saying right now. But I'll go with it because they're trying. I serve the first course. They love it. Eat it with their fingers because apparently that's traditional. His dad says it's as good as the Ethiopian restaurant around the corner from them. His mum loves how much extra hot pepper they always give her. She hugs me a lot. And they're saying the nicest things. Really complimentary. Loves my hair. Wants to touch it. Just... to see. His mum grabs my hands in hers, stroking me. She apologises for slavery. Asks my ancestors for forgiveness. And I'm looking at Stefan like... He just keeps winking at me. Calls me his African queen with a big grin. Says I should ask his mum anything because there's still stuff about my culture she can teach me. And I'm back in the kitchen again and I feel... <sighs> I want to scream. And now I don't know. Does this chicken stew need extra? How much is too much? This is a proper disaster. The biggest fail since that custard drama on Bake Off. All I did was serve up what they asked for. My nan used to say, if it's pepper you want, it's pepper you will get. Why pretend to be anything I'm not? This is me, no filter. I am Femi. Beryl, are you Delhi from Bermondsey?